Hello, I'm Dave Brand, and I'm here to introduce you to General Darme, the new Napoleonic War Games rules from Ricefitz Press. Today we're going to talk about movement and how it's done. In the movement phase, players move their respective units, infantry battalions, cavalry squadrons and artillery batteries. The phasing player, that's the player with the initiative, will move his units first, followed by his opponent. Units may move up to the maximum distance for their current formation. Uh, for instance, this could be uh, for 15mm figures, 20cm for skirmishers, 15cm for a column or 10cm for an infantry line. Uh, in the 28mm move figures that will be 6 inches for a line, 9 inches for a column and 12 inches for skirmishers. Units may also conduct formation changes such as column to line or column to square and so on. Brigades which have a forwards ADC tasking have the opportunity to increase their movement rate through the addition of a random 4d6 score. The total score of these four dice represents the extra movement that these units may take. However, the downside of this increased move is that units lose the opportunity to fire in the fire phase. Terrain also impacts upon movement, reducing units to half speed in difficult terrain or of crossing features such as a low wall or hedge. However, there is an option to cross low walls or hedges or streams at full speed, but units will suffer a casualty in the process. As we will see, casualties reflect men lost, but can also be seen as disorder, and that's what's happening in this instance. That's it for movement. Nice and simple. Next time, we'll be talking about firing.